guys and welcome back to my channel. I hope you had a great week. Today I am showing you how I created this hairstyle as you can see from the title. Yesterday I asked my Snapchat followers what kind of video they'd like to see from me this week and I gave them a few different options and how I do my braids one by an absolute mile um, and it's been pretty requested over the last few months as well. I said I'd finally film it for you and this hairstyle is one I wear all the time. I find it so handy if I'm in a rush or if my hair is a little bit greasy. It's just my go-to. If you follow me on Instagram you'll see that I wear it quite a bit and I've actually worn it in a few of my previous videos as well and yeah I just wanted to show you how I recreate it it's very straightforward and simple trust me I'm not that good at hair so if I can do it you can definitely do it as well and um, so yeah let's get right into it Okay, so I've just freshly washed my hair now. Um, I just finished blow drying it, but as I mentioned, you do not need to have like freshly washed hair for this kind of hairstyle, which is great. But I just wanted to show you the other things that you would need. It's very, very simple. You don't need much. Literally just a brush. I use the Tangle Teaser. I find this really, really good, especially when you have long hair like me. So yeah, it's really important to brush your hair before doing this because knots will make it a little bit harder. Next thing is just a bobble, simply one. That's all I need. If you do have layers in your hair, you might need clips and things like that to clip in any bits that maybe you're sticking out um, but for me I'm just going to use one bobble because my hair is mostly the same length and then this isn't very necessary but I like to use a comb as well just because when I'm parting the hair which I will get to um, it's just handy to have it nice and straight if you're particular but again not very necessary so literally so simple this is why this is such a handy one especially if you're traveling things like that and don't have many things on you so yeah stay tuned and we'll get started Okay, I've just zoomed you in so that you can see everything nice and clearly and the first thing I'm going to do is part my hair. As you can see my hair parts naturally to the right but I actually like to do my plait to the left side as I personally feel it, that it looks a little bit better and that it creates a little bit more volume when I change the parting but that is completely up to yourself. So I'm going to use my comb for this part of the tutorial and simply just part the hair like you do anyway. So just pull all the hair over and I actually like to bring it quite far over and then I just use my comb to make sure that parting is nice and straight and there you go and then I just get my brush and brush everything out again and make sure that there's no knots because that's super important and after you part the hair you're simply going to take a section of the hair from where we parted it nice even section usually from about here forward and you're going to simply part that into three sections next you're going to take the back piece and bring it under the middle piece and same with the front piece under the middle and when you bring this part to the front you're going to add a little piece in with it and you're going to bring that under and then when you get to the back with this strand you're going to add a little piece in you're going to bring that under when you get to the front with this piece you're going to add in a little bit of hair and again bring that under when you get to the back you're going to add in a little piece of hair with that strand and you're going to continue doing that the whole way down taking your time and making sure that you kind of fizzle out any knots as you're going because they'll get in the way otherwise. You're going to keep adding pieces in and when you get to here feel free to stop if that's the look you're going for but I like to continue it down all the way to the bottom of my ear. Continuing taking pieces in. And after I get to the bottom of my ear, I usually just finish the plait like a normal one and bobble it up. And that's that. And there you have it, the finished look. If you like, you could add some curls afterwards. I like to do that sometimes, or else you can just leave it natural, um, which is another lovely option as the plait kind of speaks for itself. And yeah, I really hope you enjoyed this. As I mentioned, I love this hairstyle. I love how quick and easy it is. I'm really happy with how it turned out, and I hope you found this helpful and were able to follow the steps. Don't hesitate to comment below if you have any questions. And also as part of this video, as you may have seen from the title, I'm hosting a little giveaway to say a huge thank you for helping me reach 4,000 subscribers. I hit it last week and it's made me so, so happy. I know it might seem like a big number to some of you, but to me that's really, really huge. I'm actually gonna insert a picture of the products I'm giving away now. Some really amazing brands are in there, so I really hope you like that. And all you have to do to enter is subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, leave a thumbs up on this video and comment below telling me you've done both. Very, very simple. It's just a little thank you for helping me get to this stage and supporting my YouTube channel. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video once again and found it helpful and I will see you in my next one. Bye.